Hello, McKinley Bears, and welcome to KMBN 5.0. We will bring you the best in elementary school broadcasting, as always. We'll start this broadcast with our Did You Know section. Then we will go into a moment with Ms. Kavanaugh and wrap up this section, actually, with our Trivia to Know section. Because we also have KMBN episode 5.5 on a separate link on the same website in which you had to go to to get this episode of 5.0. Thank you very much for joining us and now we will start with Did You Know? Did you know that applesauce was the first food eaten in space by an American astronaut? Did you know that slugs have 3,000 teeth and four noses? I don't think I really want to know that. And did you know that some frogs can glide up to 50 feet through the air? That's amazing! Did you know that the world's biggest flower, which is found in the Indonesian rainforest, can grow wider than a car tire? That is huge. What an interesting looking flower. Did you know that your fingernails take six months to grow from the base all the way to the tip of your nail or of your finger? That's amazing. There are so many interesting facts about all the different things in this world. We can't even begin to touch them right now. But now we're going to move along to our character count section. As you know, McKinley Bears are trustworthy, respectful, responsible, are fair, are caring to others, and display good citizenship. We have a moment with Mrs. Kavanaugh coming up. So please give her your undivided attention. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Kavanaugh again with another weekly challenge. And this week I am challenging you to choose helpful thoughts. Did you know that what you think in your head is actually connected to how you feel and how you feel inside is connected to what you actually do? So our thoughts our feelings and our actions are all connected. And that is why it's so important to choose thoughts that are helpful. So what if your thought was, oh, I hate being at home all day, there's nothing to do. So if that was your thought, what you're telling yourself in your head, then what are your feelings? Hmm. Maybe you're feeling sad. Maybe you're feeling bored. And so since you're feeling sad and bored, what do you decide to do? Well, maybe since you're feeling sad and bored, you decide just to sit around all day and not do anything. And since you're sitting around all day and not doing anything, what are you thinking? You're thinking, oh, I hate being at home all day. There's nothing to do. But what if you changed your thought? What if instead you said, hmm, well, being at home all day is not what I would have chosen to do, but I'm going to make the best of it. So if that was your thought, how do you think you're feeling now? Hmm. Maybe you're feeling curious about what you can do to make the most of your day. Maybe you're feeling a little bit hopeful that maybe today is not going to be such a bad day after all. So instead of feeling sad and bored, you're feeling more hopeful and curious. And since you're sitting there curious, thinking about how you could make the best of your day and feeling a little bit hopeful about it, what do you think you do? Well, maybe because you're feeling curious and hopeful, you actually think of a really cool game to play with your family. 
And since you think of a really fun game to play with your family, you have fun with your family. And then what do you think your thoughts are? Maybe your thought now is being at home is not what I would have chosen, but I am making the most of it. So you can see how your thoughts and your feelings and your actions or what you decide to do are all connected. So this week, when you start to feel maybe sad or upset about something, ask yourself what thoughts you're telling yourself and then ask, is there a more helpful thought that I can say to myself in order to take better care of me today? So here's to a wonderful week, everyone, and I hope that you all choose helpful thoughts. Bye-bye. Mrs. Kavanaugh always has such a wonderful way of putting things for us. Um, I love listening to her. I hope you guys all enjoy listening to her because she does so well. Um, and she seems to communicate and show us and give us great examples to follow, even for me as an adult. So I hope that you will take what she says and try it out. It just might help. Now we're going to move on to Trivia to Know. Last week's TTK question was, who was the 25th President of the United States? And that was President William McKinley. Now I'm sure that you have figured out why I chose that as our TTK question. I wonder where our school name comes from. Yep, you're right, from President William McKinley. The next part of last week's question was when did President McKinley visit Redlands? Well, on May 8, 1901, the P McKinleys became the first president and first lady to visit California, and that was California at all. Their train arrived in Redlands, and the president spoke and shook hands and took some tours while he was here that day. Well, President McKinley's visit to Redlands in 1901 was given a very warm welcome, due in no small part to the fact that the president's tariff policies greatly favored the Redlands citrus industry. Well, there's still a lot of citrus grown in Redlands today. Well, sadly, he was assassinated only four months later after his visit to California. His successor, which was President Theodore Roosevelt, visited Redlands in 1903 and helped to dedicate the memorial to him. Now there is a bus to him, which was dedicated, and it's located next to A.K. Smiley Library and the Lincoln Memorial Shrine, which is the museum which honors President Lincoln. Here is a picture of William and Ida as they disembarked from their train for the President's speech here in Redlands, California. There's a lot of history here in Redlands, so I hope you've enjoyed this little tidbit. This week's TTK. The trivia to know for this week is which teacher or teachers, I'm not going to give it away, at McKinley School also went to McKinley School as a child. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Thank you again for joining us with KMBN 5.0. If you'd like to enjoy some story time, go back to the school website and click on KMBN 5.5. Thank you and have a great week.